right, so here's Muhammad Ali making the walk to the octagon with much fanfare. A lot of people thought this moment would never materialize. I don't believe it. You know, when people talk about the GOAT, it's always a conversation with people having an opinion. Very rarely do you get a person almost universally considered the greatest of all time. That you get the Muhammad Ali when people talk about boxing. This guy has unbelievable hand speed, footwork, but it'll be his takedown defense that will allow him to find success inside the octagon. We're about to find out what the greatest can do, John, in an inside the game. And you're right, most heavyweights in this division are going to test his takedown defense, but the plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it. We'll see how it goes for Ali here tonight. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ready to engage yet again, it's a And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the left corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our third man Wait, in the right. octagon for this Wait. one. Wait. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Already oh, lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Good job by the fighter to land that kick. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Fast pace here in the early going. Just out of range with that right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Muhammad Ali gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. There's that side kick. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Gets the hands going here. Lee's 
nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. And now the jab gets through. He's got some hands, man. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh! Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, that body shot hurt him. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get them. Continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Stop it, with a kick, kick, body kick after body kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike, the cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ali's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Another one. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Nice. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse. Oh, trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, nice kick. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Beautiful jab there by Lee. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Ninety seconds and counting in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Under a minute now to go. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Throwing that jab, no good. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch man. What a fight so far. 
All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stool. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Ready. Bambi. Ready. Good Third round underway. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Straight right hand now just misses. Lee's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Distance management, one-on-one, -on -one, another punch lands. Oh, and he caught the kill. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Good kick to the body. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Ali. Huge block there. Lee's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Nice punch here. Just misses with the right. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Takedown defense holds up. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cowl tie. Oh, nice takedown defense. Big knee land. And look at the post on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Like that one landed, beautiful body kick. How good is that jab by Lee? Well, he's had next to no answer. That's as good.
through the punches he's thrown on us. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. It's a good right hand right there. And blocks the shot there. Ali's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Grab my back of the head, pull it forward on the head, and then land. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. He's got to be careful here. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Gotta be careful here. He's getting them on here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Ali's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Fourth round here. Less than a minute to go. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raise. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. 10 seconds now to go in the round. How's Gianchino? Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, 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 and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Beautiful punch lands there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Push kick there to the body. Lee's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Just a oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. now. Big right hand there. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Oh. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. And now some knees. Great defense. 
defense. That punch had no chance. Clean punch. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night, back and forth on both sides. And the referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed out. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion, or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There have been some bleak moments for both. Both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this last minute. Oh, man. I mean, headshots they are not, but that calf is taking an absolute beating. This is hard to watch. It's hard to watch. It's hard to see a guy so limited in his defenses and not have the ability to do much to change it. We got to look for this fight to be finished here pretty soon. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 50-46, and 50-46, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Muhammad All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few...